everyone, I'm Ron Van Sess and welcome to another episode of Fun Facts. I've got another unique essential oil to share with you today. Let me show you what we've got right there. You can see that? There it is coming into focus. Bergamot. We're going to talk about bergamot today. Maybe you've heard of bergamot. Maybe you haven't. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but we're, we're going to talk about I'm going to give you the nuts and bolts of this one. So bergamot is part of the citrus family, but it's a very unique oil among the citruses. It, it's, it has some very distinguishing characteristics. First thing I want to do is I, I, I want to smell this. And it, it, it definitely, when you smell it, it definitely has that, that citrus. You, you get right away that it's a citrus, but it's not a sweet citrus. Um, it almost has a little bit of a bitter edge to it. And uh, I, I think that's kind of what makes it unique. We don't typically think of citruses as having a bitter edge to it. It kind of like a little leaning towards a grapefruit almost. Um, it's not sour and it's not sweet. You know, it's not sour, sour like lemons and limes. It's not sweet like an orange or a tangerine. It's more well, kind of related to a grapefruit, I would, I would say. Um, I happen to love grapefruit. Grapefruit is actually my favorite uh, of, of all the citrus essential oils, but I like bergamot also. So let's talk about some of the benefits of bergamot. One of the things that it's do, we, we, we can use this uh, topically, we can use it internally, we can uh, diffuse it and, and uh, use it aromatically. So uh, this is a great oil to use in all three of those, uh, all three ways. Let's talk about topically. Why would we use it topically? Well, again, it's very beneficial to the skin, very soothing to the skin. And um, it's, it's like we've talked about many other oils. You know, take a drop or two of this, apply it to some lotion or apply it to a carrier oil, you know, fractionated coconut oil, something like that, and apply it in your skin. And you're going to get some great soothing benefit from that. And, uh, and, and the smell is a, a unique smell, too. And it's not bad. I mean, I said it's a bitter flavor to it a little bit, but the smell is quite refreshing. So I, I, I really like it. Um, let's, let's bring that then to the, the, the aromatic use of, of this. So we're talking about smell. I love to diffuse bergamot. And, and I want to tell you, what, this is one of the things that makes it so unique. Um, most citruses are very uplifting. You know, we, we think of uh, think about a, a glass of fresh squeezed orange juice in the morning, you know, that that just perks you up. It's like sunshine in a glass, right? Very uplifting. Think of a, a glass of lemonade on a hot summer day. Very uplifting. You know, lime, same thing. Bergamot does have some uplifting aspects to it, but at the same time, it's very soothing. And that's what makes it so unique as a citrus oil. Citrus oils just aren't very soothing usually. They're, they're uplifting, but they don't have that complexity to be soothing at the same time. Well, bergamot does, and that makes this such a great oil to diffuse, especially when we're under stress. Think about this for a second. When we're under stress, what do we need? We need to be uplifted, and at the same time, we need to be calmed down. So bergamot does both, and I, and I think that is... To me, that's that's the that's the, the the greatest gift that this oil has is is, is that uh, that that complexity where it can be both uplifting and soothing and, and quite frankly grounding at the same time. I love that about bergamot. So it, when it, when it, if you're having a stressful day, you're busy at work, uh, things are um, you know you, you just need to to chill out a little bit and at the same time not be put to sleep, bergamot is, is definitely a great oil to diffuse. Or, and if, of course, you don't have a diffuser at work, put a drop or two in your hands, cup them over your nose, breathe in, a few nice deep breaths like that, you're, you're, it's, it's going to help you get right again. It's, it's going to get you moving in the right direction again. That is one of the things I love about this oil. Now, let's talk about internal use. Can you take this internally? Of course you can. It's a citrus. So we can take this internally. In fact, if you've ever had a cup of Earl Grey tea, guess what? You've had bergamot because bergamot is what gives Earl Grey tea its flavor. So if you want to make your own Earl Grey tea at home, just make a, a cup of tea or just plain good old fashioned black tea leaves, 
make a cup, add a drop or two of bergamot in it, boom, you've got it. There, there's, you know, you've got, uh, you've got Earl Grey tea. So that's, that's exactly what Earl Grey tea is. And I love Earl Grey tea. That's always been my, uh, my, my favorite flavor of, of drinking tea. So great benefits here. Um, I love it. Now, one of the things I want to caution you about um, is that we talked about using it on your skin, but be very careful because citrus oils in general increase, you know, have, have a very high photosensitivity factor. In other words, if we wear them out in the sun, they're much likely, much more, much more likely to get a sunburn. They, they increase that, that photosensitivity in our skin level. So be very careful of that. Bergamot is the biggest one of that. It, it increases the photosensitivity in our skin more than any other citrus oil. So we want to be very careful of that. I do not recommend using bergamot. Don't put it on in the morning before you hit the beach. Okay, Bad move. You will get burned from it. And don't think, oh, it'll do it to accelerate my tan. No, no, don't. Don't do that. It doesn't work that way. You're just going to burn and you're gonna be uncomfortable, so don't do that. If you wanna wear a citrus oil out in the sun, I would go with green mandarin. Green mandarin has a, does not have a photosensitivity uh, component to it, so you're perfectly safe wearing that all day in the sun. Bergamot, don't do it, you, you, you won't like it. Um, let's talk about where we get bergamot from. Now, we don't see a lot of bergamot in the United States. The reason we don't see a lot of bergamot in the United States, in my opinion, what we, we just culturally, we don't really eat the fruit, but it's also a very temperamental tree to grow. Um, bergamot is actually the most temperamental, the most difficult of all the citrus crops to do successfully, to be able to do it well. well. Where do we get it from? Well, our bergamot actually comes from Italy, Came from, comes from the same region that we get our lemons, our, our lemon oil. Uh, the reason we get them from Italy is because the growing conditions are perfect and they, they can produce the best lemons, the best bergamot that are used primarily for essential oil. Now, I want to make this, this point really clear here. These, pro, these crops are not, the, you know, the, the essential oil is not the secondary market. It's not like they, oh, they get all the juice and everything and, 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 and they squeeze it down and then the byproduct is the oil and they sell that up. No, these are grown specifically for the oil. It's the kind of lemons, the kinds of, kind of bergamot that it is. They are grown specifically for that purpose. The juice is actually a byproduct. So good, good distinction there. Um, but yeah, the, in Italy, it's just the, the soil conditions, the climate, uh, all that is just perfect for growing this. And the families that grow them have, have been doing it for generations. They know what they're doing and they take great pride in their work and they know the quality of the product that they're putting out. So that's pretty much it about bergamot. Um, the uh, price on this is, this is a 15 ml bottle. So this is one of the bigger ones, 15 ml, as you can see, and this is $30 wholesale. So not a bad deal. Uh, uh, Frank, I think a pretty good deal for having this oil that's a very unique citrus oil. I, like I said, to, it, when you have that, that stressful time and you want to diffuse something, <laughs> this, is, this will last you a long time and, and it, it does the job. It's, it's a great soothing and yet uplifting essential oil. It has that complexity. Um, it's... Um, one of one of my one of my favorites, absolutely. Uh, this and grapefruit are probably my two favorite citrus oils, so I enjoy these quite a bit. I think that's. Let's see if I covered everything. Let me check my notes real quick. I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about. I think we pretty well covered it. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you uh, get this oil and put it to good use because it's going to make you feel a lot better. And it also, it, it tastes really good in a nice cup of tea. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, of course, we wish you wellness.